Hi, my name is Gary, and I'm a science teacher here in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. And what I'm going to be doing for this uh, this hack today is showing you how to upload uh, spreadsheet data uh, that I have, for example, right here uh, into a Google Map. And uh, there's a lot of great applications of this, but it allows you to take data and put it on with certain site locations. And you can use like street addresses, but in this case, we've done some water quality tests, uh, which obviously don't have a street address, of some local waterways. And we just went onto Google Maps, right clicked, and uh, dropped down to the menu to say, see what's there. And then it just showed uh, where the geolocation was here in decimal form. Now the students have made the spreadsheet, what I'm going to do is upload this into Google Maps. And I'm just going to walk you through the process. It's, it's really cool and also has a lot of great, um, uh, a lot of great uses for, for data sort of analysis afterwards. So if you guys look right here, underneath this uh, untitled layer, there's this button called Import. And so I'm going to click Import. And since my spreadsheet's in my Google Drive, I'm just going to go to my Google Drive and it's here in this folder on watersheds. And so the spreadsheet is here, it's called Water Quality Testing Ho Chi Minh City. First thing you're gonna do is give it access. And once it does, uh, I've already done that, but uh, what it does is it's gonna ask how do you wanna position your place marks. And using longitude and latitude, um, first of all, in my map, I have uh, latitude first and then longitude. And so if you collect, if you, if you click the wrong one, uh, it'll say, sorry, data failed to upload. So just make sure that you're collecting it uh, however it has been uh, reported there in your spreadsheet. Now I've done that. I'm going to put my student's name there and hit finish. And so what, what I really like about this is that having this as a layer allows for some analysis in a way is that just plotting traditional points doesn't allow you to do. Like, for example, if the students just went on and put a place mark and said, okay, you know, this is what I think of this. Um, it does not analyze some of the features that having spreadsheets allows you to do. So for example here, we see all of our data samples have been uploaded, and if I click on one individually, uh, you'll see this pops up here, and this pops up here. But the, the really cool thing I think I, that I like about this is that uh, the style button over here on the left, this allows you to customize the appearance of certain layer features. So um, what, I'm just gonna take this quick phone call here. Hey, can I call you back in a little bit? Yeah, I know. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm in the middle of a screencast. Can I call you back? Uh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. All right, bye-bye. Got a new pair of speakers. Yeah! Anyways, uh, getting back to this, this, uh, this button on style. So if I click down here, this new uniform style pops up. And based on what I've uploaded, what, what pops up here is all these different headings that were in my spreadsheet here earlier. So if I come down here and I say, well, we want to not just look at, like for example, what the students did and where they put their information, we want to compare the phosphate levels. So if I click that, you'll see that it's changed the color of these based on this. And I think this really allows for uh, data analysis in, in, in a much better way. And if I don't like the color, I can change that. I can also change uh, the different range. Like for example, if you want to have it blue, in this case, the darker blue means higher amounts of total suspended solids. So you'll see there's one here and here and here. So that helps, I think, look for patterns. Um, I can just do another one here just to show you what that looks like. So for example, with pH, which is obviously in the pH scale, um, I can change that and give it also a larger number, say, now let's put this, actually this kind of looks like a pH scale right here. So in, in fact we see here that this was very acidic and these over here were quite alkaline, these over here were pretty neutral. So this is a pretty cool feature uh, that we can use for uh, looking at data around us and um, what I hope to do with this also is to get some other classes around the world involved in this project. So I'm going to send this out to uh, the Connected Classrooms workshop. But it's a great way of, of looking at data and learning uh, from the data that we all create in the classroom. And I hope you enjoyed.